we implemented uh, another interesting showcase, uh, which is audio over Ethernet. So the key aspect to this is that all of the components are pretty good in sync. So what we are doing is that we're using the automotive version of GPTP, which is a time protocol coming from the time-sensitive networking technology and from AVB, uh, audio video bridging. And we're using this technology in order to synchronize all the components here which are relevant for the audio showcase. And by using this, our Zono controllers and our open server platform, which is in charge of the user experience applications, they are very good in sync of about 100 nanoseconds, which we see typically. We can host user experience applications, such as audio applications, on our open server platform. And we have a, an AVB talker running here. And the AVB talker is taking the audio stream and creating frames out of this and sending those frames over the Ethernet backbone to all of our Zono controllers. Now what we are doing is that we are using technologies such as stream reservation protocols and traffic shaping to make sure that all the frames are, are reaching their targets in the Zono controllers in time and in the correct order. Another interesting point about audio is that it enables us to benchmark our system in the development phase because all the packages are enumerated and that helps to understand the latencies and the runtimes of the packages. So we know that we just have typical runtimes of less than 100 microseconds for all of the audio frames, which is way less or somehow overachieving the TSN standard, which says something about two milliseconds as, as a delay time. With that, customers can dramatically decrease their, their costs for the audio system because the weight and the cost of the expensive audio wiring can dramatically be decreased because most of the traffic is handled by the SVA.